This is an instructional video for how to put up um, so lag stud and lag turnbuckle type fittings for your cable rail. What you're going to need is a set of cutters and crimpers, which we uh, rent these out. So if you need those, we can hook you up with that. We'll send you some anti seize And what you'll need to get for yourself is an adjustable wrench, a 7 16 wrench, and a sharpie. We also sell these tightening tools. It makes it a little bit easier whenever you're putting them up. Um, and we sell those outright. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take the lag stud in, which is already on the cable. You're going to get your adjustable wrench, and there's a little wrench spot. Make sure it fits tight on that wrench spot. You're going to put it into a hole, which is going to be drilled to 3 16 So, make sure it's lined up straight. Once you get it all the way screwed in, just make sure that the wrench mark is flush with the post and that will be tight enough. What you're going to do with the turnbuckle is you're going to unscrew it all the way out. And you're going to have the thread on this end and then the lag on this end. You're going to take your adjustable, same as the other, put it in the hole and screw it in straight. Once you have this end all the way, you want to take your body of the turnbuckle and then the other stud end of the turnbuckle. Go in a full five turns. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Once you do that, you're going to take your Sharpie. You're going to grab your cable, pull it straight, line it up with the turnbuckle. Where that wrench mark ends right there, you want to cut it about an eighth of an inch shy of there. So you're going to mark that right there. Then you're going to take your cutters, cut right on that mark you just made. You're going to have to take the turnbuckle all the way apart again. Take the stud end of the turnbuckle. Put it on your table. Take your crimpers. You're going to line up the crimpers just a little bit short of the end of the stud right there. Make sure your cable is bottomed out and all the way in, which you'll be able to tell. Once you make the first crimp, you're going to come over just to the side of that, make another one. All right, once you've done that, take your anti seize, apply a little bit to both thread ends, just enough so you can see it. Take your turnbuckle body. Screw them back together. Once you get it hand tight, you're going to take your adjustable wrench, put it on the wrench spot on this side. You're going to take your tightening tool, keep on spinning the body around to tighten it up. Once the cables are pretty tall, that's tight enough. Bring your nuts back over. Take your 7 16 wrench. Put your tightening tool in to keep the body from spinning. And lock down the nuts. Make sure they're on all the way. And that's it.